Okay, we're kicking off the show with another show. <laughs> yeah. We could have kicked it off with a better show. Oh, for the Kevin Owens show. Now, I want to point out one thing, and I hate they've been doing this recently. It's stupid. Every time they start off with one of these shows, they say, introducing the host of the Kevin Owens show. Kevin Owens. <laughs> and they've done it a couple of times with different people. Like, the host of Miz TV. The Miz. It's like, we know who hosts this show. Yeah. It's in the name. Yeah, very much. That's uh, Kevin Ad, Shane McMahon, and Drew McIntyre on the show. And they were obviously talking about <clears throat> their tag team match at Extreme Rules. Yeah. Kevin was stirring the pot a bit. Well, saying, oh, showing the footage of them running away on Raw. Oh. Saying they're scared of The Undertaker. Oh. No. And inevitably, Dolph Ziggler interrupted the show. And Kevin O'Sara said, whoa, 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 we don't care what you've got to say. Go away. We don't want to hear it. We don't want to hear about how it should have been you. Yeah, it should have been you about eight years ago, and you blew it. <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> it was nearly you, and then it wasn't. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and then Ziggler fought back and got a bit too personal. Oh, though. yeah, he said something about a hot dog eating contest. Yeah, he said that um, that's the only thing he could he could win these days, going by the shape that he's in. But then I gave Kevin Owens his shoes. He turned around and said, yeah, well, I'll eat that hot dog contest and it'll be more than the rest of the matches you've won recently. <laughs> <laughs> uh, things have got a bit heated. Yeah, Shane didn't like that. They were arguing, saying who should be the next contender. Mm. So Shane put them together. In a tag team. Yeah. Against heavy machinery. And I immediately I was thinking, hold on a minute, Kevin Owens has a tag team partner. Yeah, Team Kemi, man. Where's Sami Zayn? Yeah, he wasn't on Raw either. No. And more importantly, why after two months of Kevin Owens being a heel, yeah. is he now suddenly acting face again? <laughs> insulting Shane McMahon, insulting... Yeah. He came out booed and he left cheered. Okay. Credit to the man. Not everyone <laughs> can do that. Yeah. So, we had a couple of bits backstage. And another... Promo from Alistair Black. Yeah. This time I think he's hinting that he's going to have a match at Extreme Rules. Yes, apparently the person who's been knocking on his door is going to reveal himself at Extreme mm -hmm. Rules. Who is it? Who is this damn door knocker? <laughs> yeah. Who keeps knocking on the door? Oh. And the other thing to note, thankfully, we're not getting our truth interrupting Drake Maverick's honeymoon. Oh, not yet. <laughs> Truth's told him to enjoy his honeymoon. And then he's taking his title back when he comes back. He'll, he'll still find a way. I fear so as well. Yours, there'll be a video of him hiding in the closet or something. <laughs> oh, next we got some tagged... No, we haven't. No, no we don't. But they are involved in tag team. Yeah. We've got the Planets Champion versus Big E. Oh, God. And, of course, Xavier Woods and Big Red were there. <laughs> Big Red. Rocking another heavy metal band's T-shirt. Mm -hmm. Daniel Brown wasn't happy. He got the abdominal stretch and his ass getting slapped along to New Day Rocks. <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> no, in the end, Big Red was the deciding factor in this whole thing. Right, he interfered, throwing Xavier Woods into the ring post. No, he did it. He he did it to Big E first. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Okay. And and then Woods tried to get involved and he got sucked punched. 
And then I think he might have launched him onto the announcer table as well. Well, that happened later. Okay. Rolled Big E back in the ring. He got hit with the running knee. Not the running knees. No. Damn. And the Planets champion picked up the victory. Unbelievable. Yeah. Ah, so we attempted to have another moment of bliss on the SmackDown. Yeah. Bliss didn't want anything to do with this one. She was like, no, you host this one, Nikki. Nikki didn't want to do it at first. She was like, I've never hosted anything. I was like, no, no, I believe in you. Go out there, host it. Mm. And she had an exchanging of words. The Bailey. Yeah. Just the usual. Yeah. Like Bailey, same pretty much, yeah. Yeah, I think uh didn't this thing get turned into a match, predictably. It, it did, because Nikki was not happy with what was being said about Bliss. Hmm? She was like, No. What's bad is that we're not having a match right now. Did they at least officially announce the match? No, not really. <laughs> They did it during a commercial break again, didn't they? Yeah, something like that. You know, Cross walked down to the ring and it was like, is the match going to be made official? Find out after the break. <laughs> and then we come back and it was like, yeah, the match is official. Yeah. <laughs> and it was okay, but you thought, you know what? They've got to at least keep some momentum behind the champion. Yeah. And they did. Because Bailey picked up the victory. With a Bailey to Bailey. Uh, yeah. And Cross was not happy. She was like, no, I've, I've let Alexa down. Yeah. Oh, Alex. We've got the other member of the New Day. Uh -oh. Get involved. Bobby. And he's going face <laughs> to face. With the angry man called Joe from Samoa. Oh, no. Samosa Joe. <laughs> having a heated exchange yeah I mean he just basically told him shake my hand or I'm going to beat up everyone that you care about yeah I mean this got heated man I mean Joe said he was going to beat up his family oh, God. Kofi put in a joke about Joe having a fat ass oh no get out of it Scott <laughs> And then, uh, before anything could properly happen, Joe went to go for the sneak attack, and he got hit with the S no trouble in paradise. Hmm. Yeah. What are you doing, Kofi? You're ticking him off. He's not going to take this lightly. He won't. Oh, Is he going to go to Kofi's house now? Oh, man. <laughs> No, what they need to do, they need to do a video of Joe going to Ghana and just beating up random people from Ghana. <laughs> so, oh, this is your fault, Kobe. You made this happen. It's about I can like picture Joe just beating up this old man saying, oh, I'm beating up your granddad. Why aren't you defending your granddaddy? Is he, it's feasible. <laughs> I was him just running, walking around putting random Ghanaians in the Coquina Clutch. <laughs> oh my god, he's attacked Kofi's village. Mm. <laughs> oh boy. It's bad, but you can see it. Oh yeah. So now, next we have a match that was quite teased for quite a while. Yeah. Apollo wanted this match. He's facing off against Andrade. Boo. Send him back to Mexico. So, and of course, he had some help at ringside. <sighs> Zelina Vega. <laughs> Mrs. Black. <sighs> and she did get involved. Yeah, she did a hurricane runner. And forced Apollo to hit his head on the announcer table. Ow. 
And then Andrade took advantage of this and hit the hammerlock DDT on Apollo. <sighs> right. Yeah. And we had no sign of Finn Balor or Evil Shinsuke next this week. No, none whatsoever. I'm guessing they were still in Japan. Possibly. So, our next match. Corey liked this one. Oh, God. Mandy Rose against Ember Moon. And, of course, Sonya Deville was ringside. Obviously. <laughs> no, I don't even remember why these, these people are fighting now. I remember a couple of weeks ago that what, Ember refused to take one of Mandy's magazines. Something like that, yeah. Like they're fighting over a magazine. And then Mandy and Sonya broke Ember Moon's switch. Yeah. Which I didn't find offensive, because those things aren't cheap. Mm-hmm. I got one myself. Yeah. You drop one of them, <laughs> game over. Mm. So, Ember Moon took her fury out on Mandy Rose in this match. Damn, I'm actually jealous. And <laughs> so then Ember Moon hit the eclipse on Mandy Rose. She picked up the victory. Yeah, and Steve Austin was on Twitter going, "There you go, put some stank on her, Stoner." Steve, <laughs> what? Yeah, and then we move on to our main event of the night. Ruth, this is the main yeah. event. We got Heavy Machinery versus Kevin Owens and Dolph Ziggler. And I believe if Heavy Machinery won the match, they'd get added to the tag match at Extreme Rules. Yeah. Well, it was essentially the winner would get added. Okay. Now, this match started originally, and then they had to postpone it because the New Day and Rowan and Brian started fighting at ringside, which resulted in Xavier Woods being chokeslammed through an ounce table. Yeah. Pancakes going everywhere. Yeah, and poor Xavier Woods got, got hit with the iron claw. Through the new days and out, so say. Yeah, and the new days and out, so table. Got to blow the race. Oh, man. So, and then... Oh, and then Ziggles went and effed things up. He went and tried to do a sneak attack. And he hit Kevin Owens with the super kick. Because we don't see that enough. What an idiot. Yeah. So, then, Heavy Machinery took advantage of that. Hit Kevin Owens with a compactor. Oh, God. That's such a devastating move. And Heavy Machinery are going to Extreme Rules. To fight for the tag titles. Again. Yeah. Mm. That's how we ended SmackDown. No, not quite, because Ziggler and Owens were arguing with each other. Oh, yeah. And, Owens, about and Owens went, screw you, and gave him a stunner for good yeah. measure. And the crowd cheered. <laughs> he deserved that stunner. <laughs> yeah. And I think that'll do us after that devastating stunner. Yep, that was it. For Kevin Owens and Ziggler and SmackDown. Yeah. So, as always, folks, from your hosts, the master of the brain damage, Martin, and the one and only Sam H, something is tickling my feet. So we're going to leave it at that. <laughs> He's Christ, son, put some stank on that.